Let's see how to solve the interesting problem. Start from the origin, go right one unit to the point. One, zero, go out half unit to the point. One, half, go left one third to the point. Two thirds, half, go down a quarter unit to the point. Two thirds, a quarter. Continue this way, we will get a spiral. Now the question is, what are the coordinates of the spiral center? To figure out this problem, let's look at the change of the x coordinate. So x equals origin zero, and then we get one, no change, and then minus one third. No change, and then plus one fifth. No change, then minus 1 over 7. Continue this way, you see the x coordinate at the spiral center would be the sum of the alternating series. Similarly, let's look at the change of y coordinate. Origin 0 and then plus half. And then minus a quarter. And then plus 1 over 6 and then minus 1 over 8. Continue this way, you see the y coordinate of the center would be the sum of the second alternating series. By alternating series test, you see both series are convergent. To figure out the sum, let's consider the integral. Integral 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. We know the antiderivative is inverse 10. Because it is indefinite integral, we plus a constant c. Now we can write the integrand as 1 over 1 minus negative x squared dx. Within the open interval negative 1 to 1, we can expand the integrand as a Taylor series. So we get integral sigma n equals 0 to infinity negative x squared to the power of n dx. Now we can swap the sigma and the integral sign. So we get sigma n equals 0 to infinity. We can also take the factor negative 1 to the power n out. So negative 1 to the power n. Thing left would be integral x to the power 2n dx. So we get sigma n from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of n. We know the antiderivative of x to the power 2n, which is x to the power 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. We can write it out when n equals 0, 1, and here would be x. When n equals 1, minus, here would be x cubed over 3. The next term would be plus x to the power 5 over 5. The next term, x to the power 7 over 7. Continue this way. In order to figure out the value of constant C, let x equal 0. You see, the inverse 10 at 0 is 0. So 0 plus C, the right side plugging x equal 0 will be 0. So we get the value C, which is 0. So finally, we get the Taylor series of the inverse 10, which is x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the power 5 over 5 minus x to the power 7 over 7. Continue this way. It turns out the interval of convergence would be the closed interval x belongs to negative 1 to 1. So when we let x equals 1, we get the left side, inverse 10 at the point 1, which is 
pi over 4 plug in x to the right side we get 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7 plus continue this way it is exactly the value of x so x equals pi over 4 in a similar way we can find a, a Taylor series of function ln 1 plus x. It is x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the power 4 over 4. Continue this way. And the interval convergence would be x belongs to open negative 1 to close 1. So when we let x equals 1, the left side becomes ln 1 plus 1, which is ln 2. The right side, plug in x equals 1, so we get 1 minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Continue this way. You see the right side is actually double of y, right? So we get, or you can write that as half uh, 2 times 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over a plus continue this way. So you see the bracket is actually y, right? So we get 2 times y. So the y value would be y equals ln 2 over 2. Finally, we get the coordinate of the spiral center, which is the x coordinate pi over 4, the y coordinate ln 2 over 2. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.